I realized the other day there are some little known facts about using markers in Premiere Pro. I already did a great tip video on automating a bunch of titles using markers in a previous video, which should show up in the info button at the top right and in the description below. But I wanted to show a few more uses for markers that I recently discovered a few people had no idea existed. Let's just go over a few of the basics first. Up in the marker menu, you'll find the add marker command, which is M, the go to next marker, which is shift M, and the go to previous marker, which is control shift M. Down on the timeline, all you have to do is hit M to create a marker. We go to the next place on the timeline and hit M to create another marker. You can also create a marker by hitting Alt-M, which creates a marker and brings up the marker dialog, and you can type the name of the marker and set its color to, say, red, and click OK. Now we have a red marker. Let's undo all that. You can also press the Alt key in M to pull down the menu and select the marker key equivalent to create a marker. Let's go to this first marker. You can see the marker up in this preview window, which reflects the same marker in the timeline. So I can double click the marker and bring the marker window up. Now notice this duration here. You can scrub this forward and make the marker a certain duration. You'll get some magic, but I'll show you even more magic in a moment and how to shortcut all this. Notice you now have a marker that makes sense and becomes useful. It spans instead of just being this little mark. I can name this thing and I can change its color so I have colored markers. See this marker here? I can drag the end of it. When I click on it, it takes the timeline to the beginning of the marker. I can double click anywhere on the marker and change the name and color of it. Let's clear this marker and I'll show you the cool trick most people don't know about. I hit M for marker, then go up to the preview window. Now I click and hold down the Alt key and it automatically creates a span marker with the two little handles which I can drag apart. This is pretty cool. Let's set another one. Hit M, I'll click on the marker, drag the handles apart to create a span to whatever length I want. This is really useful. I can say, change out the bumper and set our changes marker to orange. I can come over here and click on this marker. Let's call this change, use a different font. Actually, let's change this to orange and be consistent for things I want to change. I'm sitting here with my orange markers. When you click on them, notice it always takes you to the beginning of the marker you clicked on, which is really handy. We can certainly use these keyboard commands to move to these markers. It works a little differently than clicking on them. As I've shown you, clicking on the marker takes you directly to the beginning of the marker. Shift M takes you to the end of the marker, the beginning of the next marker, and so on. Control Shift M goes to the previous marker, the previous end, and the previous beginning. Again, clicking on it will always take you to the beginning of the marker. This is really handy when you're marking things you want to change that you're working on or want to take little notes of things you want to go back later and fix. You just set your markers in the timeline come back to it later and click on the markers you want to fix, and you've got your notes sitting right there so you can change it. This is really, really handy feature I found a lot of people I work with didn't know is sitting in there. They're always writing notes on scraps of little paper, and you can just do it in Premiere Pro. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Sometimes I get really weird stuff from people that just makes me lol.